Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install your Steam games onto an external or secondary hard drive. So let's get started. Okay, if I just open up Gparted, um, if you don't have Gparted, you can get it in the Ubuntu Software Center. And what I'm going to do is just navigate over to the drive that I want to use, which is this one here. And what I've already done is I've just resized this main partition and left about 100 gigabytes at the end of it for me to work with. But you can use the entire drive if you wish. It's totally up to you. Just follow the same steps. So what I'm going to do is just right click on the unallocated space and click new because I'm going to create a new partition. And I want it to be a primary partition and the file system is ext4. And then I'm just going to give it a label which is going to be Steam Games and then click add and click this green tick because we're done and then just click apply. Now this might take a few minutes, just wait for it to finish. Okay, so Gparted has now finished. So we can go ahead and close that and just get rid of Gparted because we don't need it anymore. So the next step is to create a mount point for our drive. So what I'm gonna do is just open up a terminal and I'm gonna CD over to forward slash media and hit enter and let's just see what's there okay so what we're going to have to do is create a directory here so we're going to type in sudo mkdir and the name of the directory which is going to be steam games and hit enter and then just enter your password and if i ls-ld steam games we can see that it's there what we need to do now is take ownership of this directory and I'm also going to change some of these permissions over here. So to do that, what I'm going to do is type in sudo chown and I'm going to type in my username, so that's Linux Leech. And then I'm going to hit colon because I'm also going to change the group and type in Linux Leech again. So whatever your username is, you would type that in here. So just remember to put the colon in between and no spaces and then the name of the directory which is steam games and hit enter and that's done so i'm also going to change the permissions like i said before so i'm going to type in sudo chmod and i'm going to change them to 700 and steam games so the owner of the directory is going to have read write and execute permissions and everybody else is going to have no permissions so now if i ls ld on steam games you can see that we are now the owner and these are the permissions that we wanted. So that's all we need to do to our mount point just for now. So we're going to move on to the next step and that is to create an entry in our FS tab file so that our drive will mount automatically whenever we reboot our machine. So the first thing that we need to do is to get the UUID of our drive and to do that what we need to do is just type in sudo and the command which is blkid, so that's block ID. So if we just hit enter, you can see here that I have this label which was Steam Games, which is the partition that I created. And what we're interested in is copying this UUID that corresponds to our drive. So it'll be different for your drive, but that's the number that you want. So you can either right click and copy, or you can just hold Control, Shift, and press C on your keyboard with it highlighted to copy it. Now, the next step that we're going to do is we're going to create a copy of our FS tab file, and that's just in case we mess something up. So we're going to type in sudo cp space forward slash etc forward slash fs tab. And we're going to copy that to forward slash etc forward slash fs tab dot old and just hit enter and that's now copied that so we can safely edit our fs tab file so to do that we're going to type in sudo nano because you need to be root to do this forward slash etc forward slash fs tab and hit enter and i'm just going to make this terminal window a little bit wider just so it's clearer for you guys to see Okay, so what we need to do here is just use the cursor keys to go all the way down to the end of the file and then just put a, a new line in there, so just hit enter. 
and we're going to enter a comment so press the pound sign or hash symbol whatever you want to call it and I'm going to type in steam drive and hit enter so we're on a new line and then we're going to all in caps type in UUID equals no spaces and then control shift V to paste in our UUID that we copied previously and then we're going to hit in a couple of spaces and the next thing to enter is the path to our mount point which was forward slash media whoops media forward slash steam games and then hit in a couple of spaces just remember that that is all case sensitive so make sure you get that correct otherwise this won't work now we need to enter what type our file system is and it was ext4 and now comes to the options so hit in another couple of spaces it doesn't really matter how many you put in just try and line things up and the options that we need are rw so that's read and write and then just throw in a comma and then we're going to type in users so that allows any user in the users group to mount the file system which is fine and then comma and steam needs to be able to execute binaries from this drive so we're going to type in exec so execute and the final option is auto so that the drive is automatically mounted at startup now there's a couple more things we need to add in so hit in a couple of spaces we need to just put a zero for the dump and let's just put a zero for the pass. You don't really need to worry too much about that. A zero and a zero will work perfectly fine. Then what we need to do is hold control and press X and then hit yes or Y for yes and hit enter. And that's all saved now. So we're almost finished. There's just one thing that we need to do before we actually test this out and reboot our machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in mount steam games and hit enter. Now if we ls-ld on our mount point, so Steam Games, you'll see that Root now owns this and our permissions have been changed. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that back. So make sure you don't miss this step otherwise when you actually reboot your machine this will actually work properly. So let's just type in sudo chown and your username, so Linux Leech colon linux leech and the name of the directory which is steam games so that's changing the ownership back to us and then sudo chmod 700 steam games and now if we just ls-ld on steam games that's all done and that's fine now so now we can unmount that so type in umount steam games and that's done so hopefully now when we reboot our machine we'll be able to use this drive with steam so that's what i'm going to do now and i'll come back when it's done okay so my machine has now rebooted and let's just see if the drive has been mounted so let me just open that yep steam games has been mounted automatically so let me just open up a terminal and just check the permissions on it quickly so what i'm going to do is just cd into forward slash media and ls-ld steam games yep the permissions are correct so now i'm just going to open up steam and try and install a game there so let's install solar 2 and if you just click on the drop down here we can create a new steam library on our drive which was steam games and yep that's correct so new folder let's leave it as steam library click ok click select and click next and I'm just going to speed this up while it downloads. So there we go. Okay, so it's finished downloading. So let me just open up our Steam Games drive. And let's have a look in the Steam library, Steam apps. Yep, it's downloaded. So let me just exit that. So the final test is to see if it plays. So let's just click play and see what happens. Okay, so it seems to be playing perfectly fine. Just exit that. So 
So there you go, that's how to install your Steam games onto an external or secondary hard drive. And that has brought us to the end of this tutorial. So I hope you found it useful. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow Linux Leech on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.